Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this dynamic opener is very easy to create and it is made only using After Effects. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and over here you can see that I have already imported a couple of video files and it's completely up to you. You can download whatever videos you want or you can use image as well. Also, I have this track which I'm going to use for this tutorial and you can pick whatever track you want. Just make sure that it has really nice speed so that it will really enhance your animation. So let's begin. So first I'm going to create a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with 10 seconds, whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let me just quickly drag one of the video footages. I'm going to drag this one. So it is already really big. So I'm going to just scale this down by pressing the S key, something like this. Now, while creating these kind of animations, you have basically two best friends. One is the beats that you have on the track. So let me just quickly drag the track over here. And if I select this, I can press L twice or you can just simply click on the hold down. And from here, you can see the waveform. And over here, you can see that all the beats are highlighted with these peaks. So you know that where you have to do the animation and your second best friend is the hold keyframe. So these two will really enhance the look of your animation. Let me show you what I mean. So first I'm going to just simply create a text and let's select the text tool. And now I'm going to click anywhere. Now it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. I'm using this prohibition. Let's type opener and I'm going to just quickly double click on it and let's change its color to white. Also, let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So you can hold down the control key and then just simply double click on this pan anchor tool. Now let me just quickly select this and let's press S and I'm going to just scale this up. Let's align it into the center using the align panel. If you're not able to see this, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to just disable the fill. So you can just simply click on this and you can see that the fill has gone. Now we can click the back color, which basically means the stroke. So I'm going to change the stroke color to white. And right now we are not able to see any kind of stroke. So in order to do that, I'm going to just increase this value. So over here, you can see that we have this really nice stroke. Now let's see how to animate this. For this one, we are going to animate it using the animation properties. So I'm going to use the opacity for this one. And let's see how to do this. Now you might not be able to hear the track that I'm playing, but I can hear it when I'm playing this and it sounds something like this. So all these peaks are representing the beat. So I will try to match these beats with the animation. So first let's not focus on the track and let's just only focus on the animation. So let me just quickly show you how to animate this. So first I'm going to select this opacity and let's set this to zero. Make sure that you are selecting the opacity, which is under the animator, not this one. And now we can go inside the range selector. And over here, we can animate it using the end property, something like this, or you can use the start property just like that. So for that, we can add a keyframe and let's move somewhere around 15 frames and let's set the value to 100. So now you can see that we have all the text coming up. And if you want to add randomness to this, you can go under the advanced. And from here, you can just simply enable the randomize order and let's just turn this on. And now if I play back, here you can see we have this sort of opener. If you want, you can increase the distance between the keyframes so that the letters are appearing slowly. But I think this is looking fine. Now we are pretty much done with this. So I'm going to just simply close this down and let's select this and I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And on this one, we are going to just disable the stroke and let's go to the fill and make sure that fill is enabled something like this now we want our stroke to come first and then the fill to come after that so in order to do that just simply drag this so now you can see that our stroke comes first and let's place it somewhere around here and after that we have our fill coming in just like that so we are pretty much done with our first part and now let's add some glitches to this and there is a very powerful technique that you can use i really love it so in order to do that, let's just create a new adjustment layer. And on this one, we are going to apply an effect called transform. Just select this and let's apply it. After that, you can just increase the scale, something like this. Now the best part is that if you select the adjustment layer, you can just simply change its size and it will affect only the area that is under it, something like this. 
So in the same way, you can have multiple glitches. So let me just show you how to do that. So I'm going to just simply randomly place this over here. And after that, you can select the layer, press Control Shift D to split the layer. And let's have a little bit of gap. And after that, we can again select our adjustment layer and we can just change its size and position something like this. And again, let's select this, press Control Shift D and I'm going to have a little bit of cap over here and now we can select this and I'm going to increase it just place it randomly here and there and you can just play around with this and just place it wherever you want just like this again press ctrl shift t to split this and if I play back here you can see we have created this really amazing animation in just a matter of seconds now let's select this and I'm going to delete this because we are going to just play around with these values only. At this point, I want the footage to change so we can just drag another video. So let me just quickly do this and let's place it over here. Again, this is very big. So I'm going to just add a scale animation. So let's press S for scale. Let's add a keyframe and let's move a couple of frames ahead. And after that, just scale this down something like this. Now, if I play back here, we have this animation, but it's too slow. So we can select the keyframes and press F9. Let's go under the graph. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the speed graph, not the value graph. Let's select this endpoint and I'm going to just drag this handle and let's select this one and drag this as well. So now if I play back, we have this sort of look, which is looking perfect. Now we are ready to add some black borders. So in order to do that, we are going to add a solid. So right click, go to new and let's add solid. Let's make its color black. Again, you can pick whatever color you want and let's move this over here. In order to do that, we are going to apply an effect called CC Jaws. And let me just quickly drag this. After that, we can just, let me just increase the completion. So you can see that we have this wavy kind of pattern. We can get rid of it by simply setting the height to zero. And let's animate it from 100 to somewhere around here. But first I'm going to add our text. So in order to do that, we can just simply select the text tool and let's click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type design again. Let's place it into the center and let me just quickly scale this up. Now let's move it over here. And let's move it below this black solid. Now I'm going to just quickly animate it. It's completion. So let's add a keyframe and let's go to somewhere around here. And I'm going to just increase its value so that only the design letter is visible. Something like this. Now we can select this, press U. And over here you can see we have this animation. But again, this is very smooth. So I want this to have like a little bit of jumps over here. And over here we are going to use the toggle hold keyframe. Let me just show you how to do that. But first let's animate our text. So in order to do that, let's select this. And on this one, we can do a bunch of different animations. I'm going to just select the tracking one. So we can animate its tracking something like this. So in the beginning, I'm going to just make it like very close, something like this. Let's add a keyframe. And as the animation proceeds, we are going to just increase its value just like that. So again, we can select this, press F9. Let's go to the graph. Just play around with the easing. And we have this looks perfect. Now let's quickly change this black solid. So let me just quickly pick a couple of points. So for example, let's pick over here again. You can use the beats. So let me just quickly select our track and let's press L twice. And I'm going to just place it above so that we are able to see what we are doing. And over here, you can see we can place this add beats. So over here and one over here, one at this point and one at this point. And after that, we have this ending keyframe. So once we are done with this, just select all the keyframes and right click, just click on toggle hold keyframe. So now you can see that instead of going smoothly, these will go into these breaks and these are all sync with the music itself. So this is how you can create these kind of animation. Let me just quickly disable this and let's place it below. Now we are pretty much done with this part and let's see what 
we can do in the next step so after this i want the screen to go completely black so let me just quickly select this and for this one i'm going to just add keyframe over here and then just pick a point somewhere around here and let's just simply make this zero and also i'm going to select these and hold down the control key and then just simply click on them so that these are linear keyframe and this will go something like this now i can select this press f9 let's go to the graph and let's change this so yeah this is looking nice perfect now again if you want you can add some animation to the text as well so let me just quickly add some scaling animation so let's add a keyframe over here and in the beginning i can just simply scale this up a lot just like this again this is completely up to you you can play around with the easing to see what looks best so yeah this is looking fine now we are pretty much done with this part and let's see what we can do in the next step so again i want to change the clip so for now we are going to just pick this one and let me just quickly place it over here and let's just scale this down it's perfect so now let's see what we can do with this one so i want this to appear as this black is going in so in order to do that let's just quickly create a solid so go to layer new and let's add a solid you can just simply click on ok now let's move the solid to over here and on this one we are going to animate its scale so let me just quickly uncheck these values and let's go to the very beginning and in the beginning we want this to be at 100 so let's add a keyframe and after that we can go a little bit ahead and then just simply set the y value to 0 so that we have this sort of animation again we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and let's just tweak the curves perfect now one last step is to change the track mat option so we can select the video footage and let's go under the track mat option and if you're not able to see the track mats then you can click over here just like this now let's set this to alpha inverted so if i play back here you can see that our clip is coming from the outer side as this is closing so let's see what we have created so far perfect now we are done with this and let's add our text over here so again we can just simply use the opener text so i'm going to just select this press ctrl d to duplicate them and let's place it to the top and i'm going to just add our text over here something like this and on this one we are going to type cinematic so just change the text and let's preview it now i'm going to select them and let's press u and we don't want this much of animation so i'm going to just decrease this and let's move the keyframes over here yeah so this is looking fine now we are going to play with the scale of the fill text so again we can make use of the sounds let me just quickly place this top and let's pick the beats so over here we have the beat over here and again we can select this and let me just quickly press s for scale let's add a keyframe and let's pick another beat somewhere around here now i am going to change its scale and let's go to over here and let's make this smaller just play around with the beats and just play around with the text and let's make this even smaller after that let's make this bigger and let's make this even more bigger and at this point i'm going to just simply full screen something like this now we can select the keyframes and let's right click and again toggle hold keyframe so if i play back here you can see we have this animation sync to the music now again we can add some glitches to this so let's just simply select all of them press ctrl d to duplicate them and let's place them at the very top now we can add the glitches over here as well so let's just quickly pick this one and yeah i think this is looking fine let's increase its duration and we can have one over here as well or we can change its position something like this and let's have some more over here and let's place this one 
just like that now we can select this press ctrl shift d and just play around with the position of these cuts now we can select these press ctrl d to duplicate it once again and let's move them to the top and after that we can just simply randomly place them over here so this is completely up to you you can just pick whatever points you want and this will really enhance the look of your animation and let's make this smaller perfect so if i play back here you can see we have created this sort of animation and with the music this looks very nice and this is the basic of the animation so after this you can just simply keep on changing the video and add some text and glitches like these and you can just have a complete animation so this is how you can create these kind of dynamic openers and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one